This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. So excited to talk about Chanel. Every Chanel topic is a happy topic, especially when it's about bags. So, ha, huh, I'm going to be reviewing and touching base wear and tear slash review of a very specific type of Chanel bag, which is a clutch slash baguette slash pouch Chanel bag. They're not spoken about very often on the tubes but they are very important within the heritage of Chanel and fashion history in general. So before we get to the review slash wear and tear of this bag, if you haven't already, consider now subscribing to my YouTube channel. Push that subscription button and also next to the subscription button, push the join button and become a member today uh, of the Fashion Bunker and gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Deco Ball spelled together there. Join me on Patreon to gain access to extra perks, exclusive videos, and such. Thank you to all my patrons and members who have already pledged. Without you, the Fashion Bunker wouldn't be here. And since this video is being filmed in front of a live virtual audience, we also have our co-reviewers in the chat section right to the sidebar here. Don't forget, to thumb up this video if you like it and let the algorithm know on YouTube that we're doing something good here. A little ASMR. We're getting into the massage portion of a Chanel bag. This is the box it came in, and I do store it in its original box. It's a very flat box because it is a flat pouch. However, the pouch and the way I store it is a little bit thicker than the actual boxes. So, in fact, you see there's more space there to be closed, but it protrudes a little bit. It doesn't matter because I don't place anything on top of this box. There's nothing on top of here, so this lid stays very loose uh, on uh, the... Um, on top of the box. The box on the box and the lid on the box and the box on the box. Uh, inside is a Vivian Westwood plastic bag and desiccants. It's open though. I just have, I just happen to have a Vivian Westwood uh, clothing bag. So I just, just in case, let, like let's say water falls or something happens, I always have to, I need to have a plastic per, uh, protection just in case what I don't know you know I'm just crazy that way anyway so t I take it out of the plastic pouch and then I have the original dust bag it came in it's a huge dust bag uh, one of those awful dust bags that are just like bad uh, canvas but I always ask my sales associate whenever I buy a leather good to please uh, a bag not small leather good a bag to give me also a um, microfiber uh, pouch. Now this is a big one for their maxi uh, Chanel bags. So, but I got one of these big ones uh, for this pouch because it is that big. So it would literally, this is a pouch for the maxi a double flap or uh, 255, but I got it for this gorgeous little baby here. For those of you who don't remember it, this pouch is from the uh, Greek cruise collection, the Chanel Greece cruise collection. This one hit the runway. The model is actually literally like holding it, bending it like this, and she's like strutting down the runway. So this particular color hit the runway in yellow. It's a beautiful, warm, sunshine yellow. Uh, however, this bag was also made in red, blue, black, maybe even in green. And there was also a chevron version, but I wanted the quilted version. Um, oh, the smell of it. I love the smell of Chanel leather. However, bright colored leathers have a different smell to the black leathers. Black leather is a different chemical, so it... The black leather always smells the best. Every other color smells okay too, but it's not as good as black. So I still love it and live for it. Uh, this pouch has been purchased 2018. So, oh my gosh, how time flies. Three years old. 
In May, it's going to be three years old, I think. No, 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 actually, right now it's three years old. I think I got this in March of 2018. So three years old. The baby's three years old. Oh my God. I, I literally, I feel like I bought it last year. It's so beautiful. All the edges. So the cool thing about it is, uh, first of all, nice to touch base on it, wear and tear, and to give it a proper review. Now in springtime, as I'm filming this, it's April. So it's wonderful to have this sunshine uh, bag um, while the weather is getting better. It's very spring. So this is, it It matches the feeling, the vibe of spring and summer. Definitely. Uh, and also, you know, I've started rewatching for, I don't know wait, what time already, um, for the 50th time, Sex in the City. And uh, have you noticed in the first seasons, the, the girls have a lot of these baguettes slash clutches slash pouches. You know, they wear them like this all over the city. It's, it's, it's a thing. I personally adore it because it's quite rare for me to deal with Chanel bags that don't have chains, straps, and things, you know, and you can't really hug your bag. This one you can hug. You can treat it like a pillow. It's just... It, it, it's like you hold it and it's a part of you because it doesn't have those chains and things hanging down. It's very practical for a tactile person like me to have a bag like this because it allows me to really feel it all over. And uh, matter of fact, I'm looking into getting more into this direction in terms of future purchases for bags. Another great thing about it is that when you open it, you have a little zipper pull here. And uh, hold on. And here I have the authenticity card, which I always keep in my bag, but let's take it out. So the Gros Grand classic to Chanel bags is also in yellow on the inside. Hello, everybody. <laughs> And the pull zip here, which I adore. I can show you a close-up, perhaps. This little pull tab, uh, as you can see, it has two layers of leather. And then it's the leather is turned inwards and then sewn together. So there is no glazing whatsoever. I love that there's no glazing. You know, oftentimes they would just put two pieces of leather together and then just a lot of rubber glazing all on top. It looks so vulgar. No, Chanel actually sewn these two pieces of leather together, but twisted them inwards. I personally love this. A lot of people prefer glazing. I don't. Glazing can crack. And so we got this pocket here with the Gros Grand silky material. But it doesn't end there. And gold hard, by the way, yellow and gold hardware, oh, to die for. There's a little hidden compartment here on top, which we can also open with the zipper pull. And the zipper pull in this case, as you can see, also has that same uh, two leathers combined together and then sewn together without glazing. And when you open the, the pouch slash baguette slash clutch, you have this huge compartment up here. The entire length or height of this pouch, it becomes like a square pillow <coughs> with the yellow Gros Grand inside. And this bag, let's give it a nice, let's give it a close up, was made in, oh yes baby, this one was made in France. We are ready for romance because we were made in France. Oh, the beauty of it all. It is such a soft, supple leather. Uh, this one is calfskin, if I remember correctly. This is not lambskin. It's thicker than lambskin. I have my little desiccant. I always store desiccants in my bags. You should too. They absorb whatever humidity is there, even if there is no humidity where I am at the moment. But And um, You can pull this out in case you need to clean the inside of it. Look at the beauty of this Gros Grand 
shiny, reflective almost material. It has this pattern. You can see the moiré effect on the camera, depending on how I twist it and turn it. <laughs> the bag just gets bigger and bigger. Um, it's a very, very sturdy, robust material. I'm loving the Gros Grain. In particular with Chanel, the Gros Grain is amazing. Um, and yes, uh, Debbie says she's actually pretty roomy. She's very roomy. And what is really cool, if you really want to stuff it, you know, and put a lot of stuff inside the bag, like let's say, uh, you know, now just for the sake of it, I'm going to put in the, the, the dust bag, the both dust bags in here, just to give it a little bit of a three-dimensionality, like a pillow, you know, like a pillow mood or pillow vibe. And, oh, oh, you know what I mean? I feel like a Barbie wearing her, you know? <laughs> I love it. I love this pillowy. This, literally, you could use this as a pillow. I know it's crazy, but you know there are leather pillows as well, but I, I would never. But what I want to say is if you have a lot of stuff to put in here, let's say documents, you know, for work or what have you, you could wear it open like this. And you can go through the city with it like this. I mean, how gorgeous is this? Honestly. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I just, oh. And I know people are scared with their Chanel bags. Oh, don't squish it. Don't. This is a squishable bag. Uh, very robust, soft, padded. The quilting is padded. Each one of these little quilts is soft to the touch, okay? So it has a, it makes you want to hug it. It, it 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 literally gives you that vibe of huggability, right? Uh, and it's addictive. Touching it, hugging it. Oh my god, this is this is Chanel born, you guys. Um, yeah, yeah. Debbie says like the bougiest Manila envelope. Lol. Uh, it is quite bougie, but I love how also they bent inwards this part of the bag so that it actually has a lot of space there to hide the zipper in there. So elegant. And yes, it is a little bit wider here than it is there. So that when you bend it and close it, uh, it's it's actually very intelligent. So wait, now I, I stuffed it so you can't really bend it. I just wanted to show you how it looks if you carry it like this around the city with you. I mean, it's to die for. Like, and so supple to the touch. But... If you are to uh, open it and fold it again, like we're gonna do now. The cool thing is, so you can wear it like this, in which case this little zip pull does hang there. And as you can see, it is a little bit wider on top, so when you bend it, it really covers completely the, the clutch, the, the bottom pocket. But then they equal out. It's so bizarre. It's very well thought through. But of course, you can wear it like this, and then this little thing hangs there. But you could also flip it, and you could wear it like that. In which case, your little zipper pull is up here. And your entire length of the bag you half it, so when you open the zipper pull here, you get to use only half of the bag, because otherwise you can use the, the full length of the bag. Or just half of it. Or you could use this extra pocket here. It's a very clever, it's a very simple construction, but very clever. And you have your pocket there as well as your pocket here, as well as the double length pocket here. Or compartment, whatever you want to call it. Now, I admittedly have not used this every day, so I have taken very good care of it. Um, it is in brand new pristine condition. It's been to the Cannes Film Festival with me, so it's been on the croisette uh, in, in Cannes, so that was a really fun moment for this bag and me. We bonded, we bonded. Um, 
but you can see the beauty of I photographed it on the beach. Oh, anyway, so you can see the, the corners are pristinely beautiful still. It's keeping very well with time, like here and there. There are no scratches whatsoever. No, no wear and tear, no, you know, scuffs or marks, nothing. And also, even more importantly, no color transfer. This bag is a gorgeous yellow hue that, you know, um, you would think that back here would get some color transfer, but we got nothing. But you know what the beauty about yellow, or about this particular shade of yellow is? The beauty is that it reacts a little bit like gold. And remember when I told you about gold? Um, gold reflects light in a very special way, but it also absorbs light, so it could appear black or white sometimes even. If it reflects too much light, it overexposes itself, so it appears to be white. But it can also appear to be black if it absorbs light. Similar happens with the color yellow in leather. Um, I'm just looking at... Oh, it's so amazing. I love this bag so much. Anyway, you would think it's a delicate color because it's light. Oh, color transfer problems, issues. But yellow in this intensity is really an interesting color because you don't see color transfer that much. It, it, it plays tricks on your eyes because... Um, this yellow within it already carries dark hues and light hues. So, and plus the texture of the leather, like you see the whole graininess of the leather in here. Um, it really camouflages any potential slight color transfer. This one doesn't have it because I keep it stored in a white pouch. Okay. And I, you know, I told my sales associate, I can't put this in a black pouch. This is going to color transfer onto the bag. So I want the white pouch. To, to keep this yellow as pristine as possible. And then, of course, I'm not going to rub it against jeans or whatever. You know, I'm going to just hold it close, you know, I mean, shirt or whatever. I'm not going to rub it because this clutch, you're not rubbing it against you while you're walking. You just keep it still and you're good to go. Uh, which also is a great thing to preserve uh, the color of this bag because it's not hanging on a chain and not wobbling around all the time. It's, you're holding it still close to you. Um, and what can I say? Uh, it's just the way they constructed it, it, um, how to describe it, you guys? It's as if they inverted the bag. It's not that it's it appears to be an easy construction, but it's not that easy. It's not that simple because they had to definitely cut one panel in the back and then the quilted one in the back. It had to be longer and then they because it goes all the way up to here, then they folded the leather at this length. For the other panel, they had two different leathers. They had one flat and one quilted, so they had to sew them together as well. The flat one also had to be bent here. And then they have the gros grand pouch, internal pouch for the main big compartment, as well as the extra gros grand pouch here. And they had to implement two zippers and two zipper pulls. So there's, this is the small gros grand compartment, which if we, go into the main compartment, and then this one on the side, there is also here, they did everything extra well. A cheap uh, brand would have saved money and they would just have one separation wall between this pocket and this pocket, but that's not the case with this one. This bag has two gros grands uh, compartments, one entire pouch sewn in here, and one entire 
its own pouch sewn in there. So when I go inside here with one hand and go into the main compartment with the other hand and I touch my both my hands touch at one level here and I pull the fabric apart, these are two pouches. There, there's two layers of Gros Grand in there, uh, which I cannot show on camera, but so they did not uh, save, um, you know, they did not cut corners with this bag. They really produced it the way a bag like this should be produced. And then they went an extra mile with all the details. And then we got the double C, which is a chunky metal thing. It is made in uh, aged gold hardware. It's supposed to look a little bit vintagey, you know, a little bit like it's it, it's lost uh, a little bit its original sheen and luster. It has a little bit of a mattified feel to it. That is done on purpose. That is the whole aesthetic of aged gold hardware. Um, it is made, yeah, Debbie. It is made like a double, uh, like a double bag. It is like a double bag, and it's uh, like a triple bag because it has two gros grand bags and then one leather bag out external. So it's like a triple bag in one. I highly recommend these pouches or clutches or baguettes. Um, I think as much as I love my, you know, uh, chained bags, I am really kind of obsessing lately with the concept of a clutch um, because there's something more pure and simple about it, easier to use even in many ways. Yes, you would think, oh, wait, but it's better to have a strap on the shoulder so both hands are free. I'm like, both hands are free because all you're doing is holding it like this and you got both hands free. Uh, and it's very close to you. It feels, it's much more intimate than having it hang on the side somewhere. Uh, this is literally like having a pillow. It is that nice. And you have a such a more much direct approach and connection to your bag. Like you don't really have with a bag that's on a chain. And in particular now after lockdown situation that we've been through or are still going through. That type of safety and cuddly feeling. Like I needed more now than I did in the past. So this bag comes in really handy. It's like my comfort animal or something. Um... Psychologically speaking, this one gives me way more comfort than than my other bags on chains at the moment. So I'm very, very happy to 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 have this one, and I'm looking into uh, expanding this this type of uh, baggage. Um, and add to that the fact that these are not as expensive as their you know timeless classic two five fives. Um, you know, you're paying one third or half the price of, of the other bags or one third of the price. Uh, but it's not that you get less of a bag. As, as we said before, look how huge this is. There's actually more space in here than there is in a Jumbo Timeless Classic because the Jumbo Timeless Classic is a boxy bag that doesn't expand. It doesn't allow you to like expand it. Like you look at this, look how huge this thing gets from this. To this and you can stuff it and fill it and you have an extra pouch in the front so this one ultimately can carry much more and is much more user friendly than a jumbo so keep that in mind next time you think about a new bag and these are quite underrated and underestimated because people just don't think yeah i don't know everybody's obsessed with the chained chanel bags but truth be told these are way more practical <laughs> long term um and they just look so fabulous and they're so look at this you just transform it you get the double the size all of a sudden you have a pillow now you have just a short clutch and on the fashion show the model because these are so soft like she literally just grabbed it like this twisted it a little bit and made it even shorter and that doesn't hurt the bag you think oh my god don't do that to your bag but the more you kind of do that to it and the softer it gets with time that's the beauty of this bag. So I hope you've liked my review, wear and tear, as well as passion sharing uh, for Chanel uh, and for this beautiful little cruise grease Chanel collection bag that hit the runway. Uh, so what do you think? Like holding a baby, says Oli. Yeah, it is like holding a baby. Uh, Dana says, I would wear it with a zipper facing up. 
Uh, I would be worried about accidentally leaving the zipper undone and losing all of my stuff without noticing, especially if my money and cards were in there. Money and cards, Daniel, you should put into this internal pouch, this bottom pouch, which is always closed and short. So the this main compartment, I wouldn't do the money there. I would do the money here. Uh, in what situations do you carry it, says Debbie. Oh, okay, so you could carry it to, you know, if you have an office job to go to the office, to work. You could also carry it grocery shopping, like literally. You have your bag for groceries, and this is your bag. You go, you know, you, you take your money, you pay, fabulously put it down again, and okay, bye, 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 bye. Bye, sweetie darling, bye, bye. See you, yes, yes, see you tomorrow, see you tomorrow, bye, 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 bye. And then, you know, you just fabulously... Okay, and off you go. That's kind of the, it's a, it's um, an emotional support bag. It protects you. It literally protects you. It's so close to the heart and it, it's the, listen. Oh. I mean, you know, that's that already the whole squishiness of it and just the, how it sounds, it's already so voluptuous, it calms you down and soothes you, you know? So you wear it literally to just feel good. In any occasion, you can take it with you. And if you need this hand free, it's free. Um, so yeah. <laughs> um, what else do we have? Isaac says, that color really makes me happy. So sunny and shiny. It is such a mood booster it's a mood booster so here's like with less spotlight lights in it and then like that and then like that with even more light and then this is like light and then again here we have less light so i hope you like this uh review slash wear and tear of a uh, one of Chanel's uh, Lost Beauties, because they don't produce this one anymore. Um, the um, Cruise Collection, the Greek Cruise Collection clutch slash pochette slash baguette. Madame says, oh, ASMR, Khan, yes, that yellow is perfection. As beautiful as I remember it. It is gorgeous, isn't it? Made in France, says Jam. Yes, it's made in France. Abilicious says, how do you wear it? Ah, oh, we went, we explained that at the end of the video. Um... It is a, it, it's as beautiful as I remember it. I would be afraid to drop her given my lifestyle, says Debbie. Well, I mean, yeah, you have to kind of coordinate the movements a little bit, which is also fascinating to me because this bag does require you to slightly adapt your posture for the bag. And I find it fascinating when objects like this make you think more about your movement so it's a fascinating mind game as well uh, to have a bag like this um madame says i love this bag it reminds me of when you were in Cannes, but i couldn't have one because i sweat like a <laughs> like a pig and my deodorant would leave a mark if i carried it like like you do i sweat a lot too but even that is fine you, you don't have to really like you don't have to use it as a sweat absorbent <laughs> you're like sticking it really up there you could you could leave it look my armpit is there and the bag is all the way down here and you can leave it down there as well or you could like push it all the way in the front here and not have anything to do with your uh, armpit and uh, that way you can also carry it like this so there's that <laughs> as well I mean there's definitely this is a very very practical so thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and thumb up this video. If you liked it, let the algorithm on YouTube know that we're doing something right here. It helps the channel a lot and it costs you nothing to thumb up a video. Uh, you can also push the join button next to the subscription button and become a member today and gain access to special perks like your name scrolling in the sidebar as a co well, co-reviewer, but mostly uh, co-producer of the Fashion Bunker. Join me on Patreon as well, Super Decab all spelled together. And follow me on my social media dedicated to Chanel. I curate several Chanel accounts, uh, not for Chanel. They're just fan accounts, are not 
in any uh, shape, way or form um, related to the, the brand or affiliated with the brand. They're just my personal passion projects. One is called Coco Chanel is in my house, all spelled together, dedicated to my Chanel collection. And the other one is called Coco Chanel Privé, all spelled together, dedicated to the memory of Coco Chanel. So guys, until next time, thank you so much for tuning in. Never forget to never give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye.